It only happened once. Just once. I don't even know how it happened. It all happened so fast. I'm so afraid I can't wait for the test results. Every minute of every day, a nurse somewhere in the world will experience the physical and psychological trauma of sustaining a Sharps injury. Hello, I'm Dr. Catherine Murphy, and I'd like today to share with you some of the hard facts on the real state of sharp safety in healthcare. Did you know that every year, nearly 385,000 Sharps injuries are reported in the US? Nearly 1 million are reported annually in the European Union, with 100,000 alone occurring annually in the United Kingdom, and up to 700,000 injuries being reported from Germany each year. In Australia, we estimate that up to 20,000 Sharps injuries occur amongst healthcare workers every year, while in Japan, nearly 4,800 Sharps injuries are reported annually. And these are the conventional non-safety devices most often implicated. What is alarming is that these figures represent only those injuries which are reported. Experts, including the CDC, estimate that more than half of all Sharps injuries go unreported. This simply means that the Sharps injury reality in healthcare is far worse than we think it is. So why is this such a problem? It's just a little stab with a small sharp object, right? Wrong. Consider this. Each person sustaining a Sharps injury is potentially exposed to the risk of transmission of hepatitis B, hepatitis C, or HIV. And that's only one part of the story. Even though most will not develop an infectious disease, every nurse who reports a Sharps injury will be offered and encouraged to begin an inconvenient, expensive, and often lengthy process of investigation and follow-up, typically over a course of three to 12 months, before they can be reassured that they are in fact infection-free. During my time as a clinician, having sustained such injuries and supporting and observing other injured nurses, I can guarantee that the follow-up period is almost always long months of mental anguish. Think now about how safe nurses in your hospital are from needle stick and sharps injuries. The Australian Nursing Federation states that decisions about implementing safer systems for handling, using and disposing of sharps are likely being made primarily on the basis of cost. We realise, however, that the healthcare budgets are constrained. As employers and healthcare professionals, we have a collective duty of care and legislative obligations to improve sharp safety in healthcare. Join the healthcare profession's global voice advocating for sharp safety by discovering what you can do to create a safer working environment for you and your co-workers. It could be as simple as adopting safety engineered devices to further support your existing sharp safety policy and procedures. Don't stay blind to the facts on sharps injuries in our hospitals. Get the answers you need. It can happen. It does happen. Before it happens again, please, please get to know the facts. Act now.